Hello everyone, welcome to MJ Hobby Corner. This is my uh, one of my craft benches, also my sculpting bench. So we're going to make a quick starship today. I'm going to try to do a uh, civilian ship, like a freighter or something like that. Um, I know a lot of you were interested in uh, how I made my starships. And I want to provide a little video to give you uh, an idea of how all of these ships are made. I use the same techniques throughout, I just vary my designs. Okay, and this is another batch of ships that I made. And just this morning, I made this large, heavy battle cruiser. And that's going to be for um, this faction here that I'm using. In uh, It's inspired by Full Thrust, right? The game Full Thrust. And then I kind of went my own way with the design, but keeping the same kind of a style of uh, these ships so that it looks like it belongs to the faction so this is all I used polyurethane already I'm waiting for this to dry so I can paint it it already has a base and this is gonna be a heavy battle cruiser okay so I gotta wait for this to dry and this is another uh, a small batch of ships I gotta work on this faction now okay and they are triangular and they have all these like uh, projections coming down I use Star Destroyers from Star Wars as an inspiration but then I went my own way and uh, I have to finish painting these but they have polyurethane already and it's a pretty cool design I'm gonna start to add more ships to this design and uh, you know bring it up to speed with the rest of the ships okay so let's do a small freighter and I'll, I'll try to uh, show you the most important parts of the technique and this is for my subscribers that had have asked me to please put a video where i show uh you know most of the technique. now in terms of adhesives i use tacky glue contact cement and of course the hot glue gun all of these adhesives uh, at one point or the other in some of the ship creations uh become important now keep in mind that contact cement may sometimes melt uh, foam. So keep that in mind. I use that usually for bigger chunks of foam. So we're making a freighter and what I'm doing now is uh, cutting simple geometric shapes like rectangles and I use one of my cuts as a template in order to um, cut out the second part. And then uh, what I do is I join those to make a block, as you can see. And that little block took about uh, three little pieces of uh, foam board. Okay, now I'm doing uh, another section of the freighter. And that, again, using my one piece as a template, cut out the second piece and then join them together. Now you can see why I call this the shish kebab method. I'm just pretty much um, attaching these rectangles to the uh, toothpick. So it's kind of like a shish kebab. Then I shave off a little bit of the corners. And that's important because uh, if I want to make a cylinder, I just cut out a rectangle and then shave off the edges using my file and kind of shape it into a cylinder. So I'm just working with geometric shapes. There I take my sandpaper and start uh, filing. That's very important. So the next step for the bottom, I'm going to cut off a piece of rectangular uh, foam. Okay, peel off the card and then kind of shape it with my hand. That's the cool thing about foam cores. You can shape it with your hand, almost like clay. Um, and just put bit of hot glue remember this stuff melts foam so be careful also be careful with you so now i just take my sacto knife and i just trim areas uh off that little bridge thing that i did uniting both of the rectangles and i'm filing and shaping just making sure that i have the shapes that i want so i think that's going to be the top side of the deck that little bridge and now i'm building the engine block and again that is using uh 
bits of foam core that I cut into rectangles and then joining them and filing everything. Here I'm doing uh, the nozzles for the engines and I'm using barbecue sticks and when I cut my barbecue sticks I rotate the sticks slowly um, on the cutter so that it doesn't squish the end of the stick and then what I do is I just file it make it round and attach it to the engine block and that's what you see here I also add a few bits to the engine block to uh, kind of stabilize it to give it more a little more strength you can see in between the nozzles there's this little rectangle of foam and that again strengthens everything and then I add a couple of pieces of uh, foam to the sides of the engine to kind of cover them up and uh, help stabilize them a little now this is the bridge and I cut out a triangle uh, cut out two pieces so that it'll have a little bulk and then I shape everything with my file and you can see me shaping the bridge here and then I attach it to the front and that's what you see there also add a little rectangle of foam to the very top and then shape it to give it the bridge here I'm adding a little bit to the uh, bottom of the ship and anytime I add any bits that stick out I put a wire in it okay and then I add a couple of toothpicks here with the hot glue uh, just to you know, decorate it a little bit, okay. Continuing work on the uh, rear of the ship, I add a bit more foam to uh, continue to shape the rear of the ship. And then I begin to score the structural details. And I use a number two pencil. And basically all I'm doing is rectangles, squares, X's. I'll do a triangle here and there. It's very random. And I just continue to score the entire hull of the ship. Um, as you could see there, sometimes I'll poke little holes into it. Okay, and so, um, you know, this thing, once you start scoring it, you see you know it, it really starts to shape it and, and it gives it more detail more interest and uh, in some cases I go in a little bit deep with the pencil and in other cases it's very shallow it's very arbitrary I'm just doing uh, X's and uh, angled lines and and triangles and again working with geometric shapes and just combining a whole bunch of things to um, to do the structural detail and it, it kind of gives the illusion that it is a complex, you know, hull. And I go everywhere, even in these in inner areas here. Okay. So I do as much scoring as possible. And now I'm just going to add some final details to it before we attach it to its base. Now I'm adding a little bit that's going to stick out the hole and again I carve it before actually uh, gluing it and you can see that I add a little wire into it just to strengthen it anytime little bits like that stick out of the hole I like to add wire here I, I add a toothpick to give it a little more detail and I add a toothpick to the base to kind of strengthen that union of the the little piece that sticks out and there it is. Uh, now, the most important step, once everything is scored, I take polyurethane, and this is acrylic polyurethane, and coat it in its entirety. I coat every nook and cranny with the polyurethane and let dry fully before I paint. Um, for the base, I use these plastic dividers. I have a ton of these from storage cases trim it up and then I make my hole using a little hobby drill uh, could use a Dremel too um, and then stick my toothpick in there with the ship and that becomes the base okay and that was my freighter and here is a batch of ships that I finished and these all need to be painted now okay so uh, there will be more foam core projects everything from tanks mechs ships uh, there will be a variety of projects in the future, but all in due time. Thank you, folks, and thank you for subscribing and for your interest uh, in these projects. 
Soon you will see these on the tabletop in action.